Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Thought I'd put on another little video together. This one ain't gonna be quite as long. It's gonna be a little bit simpler video. We are actually going to slap together and redo a Baja Doodlebug. Picked this up uh, a few weeks ago from a guy that was com pretty much complete with the exception of the back fender. Um, we were gonna do the normal things, new tires, new motor, fresh paint, new clutch, new chain, new throttle, new brake, new brake cable, uh, whole nine yards. And it shouldn't take very long for this. Usually get one of these done in a few days. Probably not the most exciting video I'm gonna put out, but the end result still look pretty neat. I'm gonna get y'all set up. It came, oh yeah, by the way, it came with a little, uh, a little, I think they're two and a half horsepower, uh, Baja 90, 97cc motors. And uh, I, off camera, I got it running really good and everything. I'm just gonna sell it. And I put an old 212 Predator on this one. Seems to be what everybody likes. They're really reliable engines. So I'm gonna get you guys set up and I'm gonna get this thing torn apart. Let's get it. We are fixing to do the uh, mother mount holes on the plate right here. So I'm gonna get the mother lined up and I'll have a little uh, cardboard template that I, that I use to line up after I trace the outside of the mother. I'll show y'all how I do it. Make sure I got the mother pretty square.
What's going on guys? Back this morning. Got everything stripped yesterday completely off the frame. Got my new parts in today, most of them. Uh, I think we're still waiting on the chain. The clutch, the brake caliper, throttle cable, throttle, brake cable, tires. What I'm fixing to do right now is I'm fixing to take some three. Whoop. Better take some 320 grit sandpaper and uh, rough it up and get ready, get it ready for paint. Let's get to it. Good morning, YouTube. We are back for the assembly, or reassembly, you could say, of the Doodle Bug, Baja Doodle Bug. We've got everything painted up, prepped, ready to go. And I actually chose a little bit different color than I usually do. This is called uh, Espresso Brown. I guess, it, I guess it's kind of like a coffee color. Um, but it turned out really, really good. And I decided to go with this color for the fenders. It's like a, uh, it says Navajo white, but it's more like a tan color. I know it may look white on the film, but you can actually see the contrast of the white foam that it's on. And the, but they, they actually turned out really good as well. And uh, the back fender was missing with this. So what I'm going to do, I, I have a few extra fenders laying around from other projects. I'm actually going to put a uh, Monster Moto fender on the back. It'll fit fine. Um, so still look good. That's all that matters. But I've got the uh, seat recovered and a leather. It's a uh, brown leather. It, it's really, it turned out really, really good. Um, all the parts and pieces. I've got the kickstand rhino line, the pegs, um, new engine bolts, the brake done, brand new clutch. I always use the Bravex style clutches. Uh, they're not your most expensive centrifugal clutch, but I've always had really good luck with them. They're really good clutches. And uh, I just don't put the, even though I'll probably end up getting rid of this on Marketplace when I'm done, I don't, I don't just throw the cheapest thing on there just so I can sell it. You know, I want my st I want it to last a while and be dependable for whoever buys it. Um, I want them to be happy with it. Um, so I don't like to send junk out the door. But I use Bravex for my centrifugal clutches. Um, 35 chain. Got a new brake caliper. New grips. New throttle cable. New brake cable. New keel switch. I've redone the rims. I just uh, redid them with silver. I showed y'all that on a previous clip. In this uh, video, brand new tires and uh done the forks and i've actually uh i had to paint the inside of the chain guard a little a minute ago i forgot and uh, so that's drying but it, by the time i need it it'll be dry and ready to go but that's it man i'm gonna get y'all set up and uh we are gonna start putting this thing back together and let's get at it All right. 
right, we're fixing to uh, fire this puppy up for the first time and see how she does. I always put it against something. I always put it against something on the first start because uh. They do have a tendency to want to run away with you if you don't have everything just right like the, like it's supposed to be. All right, I'll get you guys set up and we'll do a little test drive on it real quick for you. Is it and give y'all one good close up look at the finished product. All right, I actually think that Monster Moto rear fender turned out pretty good on it. All right, guys. That is her. Give her one more good wipe down, clean her up a little bit. And uh, as always, find her a new home. I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, if, you're, if you're liking the video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe, share with friends if you would for me. And uh, got a pretty neat bill coming up next. Stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, thanks. I appreciate you guys for watching. And stay tuned for the next build. This and that garage, out.